What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Body Pound Picking. You know, I've been reselling for over eight years now and I started with men's clothing. And when I first started, one of the most difficult things for me was to determine whether or not I had a real or a fake Lacoste polo shirt in my hands, which I'm looking at on the rack at Goodwill. Now, we all know Lacoste is a great brand, very popular, high-end, brand new. We're talking $98. However, in the Goodwill store, you should be able to pick them up between four, five, six dollars a piece and then resell sell them on eBay for around $20 to $25, but not if they're fake. So maybe you're not a reseller and you got one from a family member for Christmas. Maybe you're looking to buy one for yourself off of eBay. You got to know these four ways to determine whether or not you're looking at a real or a fake Lacoste. Come on in and take a seat and get ready to take some notes. I'm going to teach you something new today at eBay school. I've got four Lacoste polo shirts here, all of which I've picked up locally at a Goodwill store. Some of them are real and some of them are fake, but how do you know? I've got four things you look for on every polo shirt in order to determine whether or not it's real or fake. The number one thing you're going to pay attention to is the tag in the back of the collar. The older ones have two tags. One will say where it's made, something like designed in France, made in Peru. And then the alligator and the Lacoste logo on the top tag look pristine. And one thing you'll always want to look out for on a Lacoste shirt is it'll have a number to determine its size, like five, six, seven, eight, nine. It won't have small, medium, large, all by itself. Of course, there's a caveat and exception to almost every rule with the newer polo shirts from Lacoste. So we're going to go over those at the end. The second thing you're going to want to look out for is the fact that all Lacoste polo shirts have two buttons in the front collar. That's it. Just two. Not three, not four, just two. They're going to be made of something called Mother of Pearl. It'll have a sheen or a shimmer when you hold it up to the light and it'll kind of have an opal or a pearl look to it. Every button will only have two holes for the strings, not three, not four, not five, but just two holes. Third, and probably the most important, is the alligator on the front left breast of the shirt itself. A real alligator will look very nice. The tail will sit right on the back of the alligator. The mouth is ever so slightly open. And the feet along the bottom are kind of stumpy and short. They do not stitch the word Lacoste in the alligator. So if you see that, you're looking at a fake. The back of the alligator patch on the inside of the shirt will be sewn in such a fashion that it's so neat and pristine you can hardly even see or make out the stitching. And the alligator patch itself will be in between the bottom button and the bottom seam of the split in the polo. If it is even with the button or even with the bottom, then that's a telltale sign that it's very possibly a fake. The fourth tip to look for on a real Lacoste shirt. The inside tag on a real Lacoste polo shirt will tell you in multiple language the material that the shirt is made out of. Usually 100% cotton. But it doesn't start with English first. It's usually French. And it could have upwards of eight, nine, or maybe even 10 different languages. On an older Lacoste like this, the one telltale sign for a real Lacoste shirt on the inside tag is it'll have the word Devonlay printed on the bottom near the seam. This represents the name of the family who used to own the majority shares for the Lacoste brand. That's not the case anymore, but again, at the end, we're going to go over a few exceptions. Alright, so let's take what we've learned and compare a real to a fake Lacoste polo shirt. Here we have a real legitimate Lacoste polo shirt against a fake Lacoste polo shirt. So let's take a look at all four of the techniques that I've shown you today. Taking a look at the real Lacoste polo tag, we have a very nice sharply sewn and stitched alligator. And the word Lacoste is nice, fine, with clean edges. And the design in France, made in Peru on the second tag, is in a very nice font as well. Now, here on the fake, it still has the design in France made in Peru. However, look at the alligator and the font. Not that great. The font of the words are a bit just pixelated, I guess is the word I'm looking for. The alligator looks very, very cartoonish. Almost 
difficult to even make out that it's even an alligator. They did put the seven on the on there like they should. And then the tag on the bottom says designed in France, made in Peru, but a little bit of additional information that does not belong, such as this third line right here. Here are the mother of pearl buttons I was speaking of before. We're going to zoom in here nice and tight. You can see that the mother of pearl button has a little shimmer sheen and two holes for the stitching. You can also see there are only two buttons. Both buttons look the same. Over here on this shirt, there are only two buttons. However, you can see that the fake Lacoste has four stitching holes. It is not Mother of Pearl, and it even has the word Lacoste cut into the plastic of the button itself, which should not belong there. This is what a nice Lacoste alligator should look like. See how the tail is laying nicely on the back. The mouth is open about halfway. It doesn't look like he's taking a huge bite out of anything. Just opening his mouth a little bit. And then the legs, the feet, are short and stumpy. Here's the fake to which you can see the tail doesn't even touch the back. His mouth is quite wider than the other one, and the feet are almost non-existent. All right, taking a look at the position of the patch, you can see this on this legitimate polo shirt. It is in between the bottom button and the seam of the bottom of the buttons. And on this fake Lacoste polo, you can tell that the patch is too low, that it's actually in line with the bottom of the buttons. It's supposed to be higher than that. The fourth determination of a real versus fake Lacoste polo shirt belongs to the tags. This is the inside tag on the seam, and they look pretty similar. You have multiple languages saying that it's 100% cotton on one side, and you can see that on the underneath it has the keyword Devonlay there at the bottom. Now the fake, it also has the word Devonlay on it, which is why this cannot be the one and only way you determine a fake versus a real shirt. If it were, you would think this may be real. Now, look at the difference here. This Devonlay font is very nice, pristine, clean, centered. This font is tiny, uncentered, and it is not clean and pristine. So let's go over a few of the exceptions. Here is a polo shirt that is a legit Lacoste polo. However, it's newer, and it doesn't fit every single scenario that I outlined before. For example, the tag in the back of the neck is very different in the newer models. Comparing these two legitimate Lacoste polo shirts together, one on the left is older and the one on the right is newer. You'll see that it lists both a French and a US size. For example, this French 7 is equivalent to a US XXL, but on the older Lacoste, it says just seven. Now the buttons don't always have to be white. They're still mother of pearl, but they could be in somewhat of a gray, black, or a graphite color like this polo. And then on the inside tag, you'll see it says in several different languages the material that it's made out of, which is 100% cotton. However, it no longer has Devon Lay. This is because the, that family lost the majority shares, so they don't put their name on the bottom of the tag of all their new polos. In fact, I haven't come across a newer one in the, in the actual stores that still have Devon Lane. But one thing goes across all of them, whether they're old or new on a legit polo, is the alligator. They haven't changed their logo. It's still the same nice, crisp, and clean alligator on all legit polos. So wrapping this up, let's go over this again. The four ways you can determine a real Lacoste polo shirt from a fake, the tag in the back of the collar, the buttons in the collar itself, the alligator patch, and the tag on the inside seam. Any variations of those could mean that it's very iffy, and I probably would not pick it up if I was wanting to resell it on eBay. But if all four of them match, you can guarantee that's a legitimate Lacoste polo shirt that you can resell safely without worry that it's a fake knockoff. I do hope that you've enjoyed this video, and if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button down below and give me a thumbs up. Do appreciate it. Helps us out here at the channel. Just leave me the comments and questions down below. Thanks so much for stopping by, and until next time, y'all stay safe out there and have fun picking.